Midnight Scenes is a short Twilight Zone style game series. On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Our story begins with Tina playing with her two Benny toys, the second one she received for her birthday. She pretends one is a doppelganger or evil twin coming to kill the first and steal his identity. Her younger brother Oliver is asking her to come say goodbye to their parents who are leaving for three days for work. And for that time, they will have their babysitter Veronica staying with them. Tina is pretty annoyed, partially because her parents had brought her a toy that she already had and partially because she's just the annoying big sister type that probably has an attitude much of the time anyway. Veronica asks the kids what they want to do and Tina suggests they go out into the forest on the other side of the lake as the trees are like a colorful artwork and Oliver says they were painted by prehistoric women. He also would like to look for his truck that he lost there previously in the forest clearing. Oliver grabs the oars to the rowboat, comments on his missing dog and the three travel to the pier. Once there, Oliver goes deeper into the forest to look for his truck, leaving Veronica and Tina near the boat. He sees some markings of mirrored people on one tree as well as similar mirrored pattern markings on the tree next to it. As he explores, he's been watched by crows in the trees when one of them has Oliver's name written in his eye. He continues to search for his truck and stumbling upon a doll made out of straw hanging from a tree, he decides to keep on going. Oliver finds his truck in the clearing when his sister appears from even deeper into the woods and tells him to follow her. However, the scene pans back to the lakeside where Tina is still with Veronica, telling her a story about how squirrels ate a town kid right down to the bone. Realizing that Oliver has been gone for quite some time, they go to search for him and find him staring at a rock with a ghoulish image painted on it. Tina explains that the woods are full of drawings and her dad says that a magical aura from the tribes who live there keep the paintings bright although this one looks a bit more recently painted than others. Veronica is understandably a bit freaked out while Oliver is transfixed on the image. She calls his name. When he awakes, he mentions Tina asking him to follow her, but Veronica focuses on making dinner. In the middle of the night, Tina wakes Oliver because she saw Veronica walking towards the pier and she is convinced she is going to meet her boyfriend. She sends Oliver to find binoculars to look out of the window. And when rummaging through his dad's things, he finds a picture of him as an infant being held by Mrs. Marquez, the super cool nanny with an eye patch that the children had at the time. Using the binoculars, they see Veronica is indeed on the other side of the lake, and Oliver also notices that there seems to be a lot of crows hanging out in the garden. He grabs his walkie-talkie, joins Tina downstairs, and they head to the pier. The boat is missing, and Tina wants to walk around, but Oliver is a bit unsure about this. Then when Tina sees Veronica's bag, she reaches out for it but mistakenly falls into the lake and something catches her leg and she can't get out. Tina sends Oliver to the Jordan's house for help and he tosses her a walkie-talkie before he leaves. Mrs. Jordan opens the door and he frantically lets her know what happened so she tells him to stay there with her son Thomas. <laughs> while she goes to check on his sister. Thomas is not in the best of shape. He has an unnamed medical condition, which limits his activities. Oliver informs Thomas that his mom went to help Tina, to which Thomas mentions that he thought his mother was taking a bath upstairs. He chalks it up to medication fog and notes the emotional strain he and his mother have been on after his father died two months prior. And Thomas is unsure if his medical condition will cause him to die as well. But death doesn't seem to bother Thomas and he pulls out a Ouija board he believes his mother uses to talk to his father. The two decide to contact Oliver's old nanny, Mrs. Marquez, who used to live in his house. His mother said she moved away, but Tina saw an ambulance and police around the time of her disappearance. Hoping for a strong presence of the spirit of the dead, the two use the Ouija board when a red liquid drips onto it. Thomas wonders if there is a leak in the bathroom and when Oliver goes up to check, He finds Mrs. Jordan dead. So if this is Thomas's mom, who went to help Tina? 
He yells a warning to Tina, tells Thomas to call the police, runs to check on his sister and finds that she's gone with two sets of footprints on the path towards the woods. He heads deeper into the forest where he finds Tina, but she walks away from him asking him to follow. <coughs> then he finds Veronica brutally murdered beside the rock with the ghoulish figure. My little Oliver, it's time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? The police are on the scene with Detective Taylor talking to the missing kid's parents and investigating the death of Mrs. Jordan and the missing babysitter. Agent Davis tells Detective Taylor that Veronica's murder body has also been found and she goes to see for herself. As she takes in the crime scene, Agent Davis points towards the painting on the rock. So while the children trapped forever inside the drawing, did Mrs. Marquez kidnap them from beyond the grave? Who were those evil doppelgangers? Have you already subscribed to this YouTube channel? So many questions left unanswered. And what are some games that are similar to this one where kids have to face their darkest fears? I got that for you right here.